can update your home, you have to actually own it. Right? So our friend is here with us today, Daryl Baskin, real estate expert of the Baskin Real Estate Specialist to help us Are out. you wearing you Google Glasses? Me. I am wearing Google Glass. It freaked me Does out it... at first. I said, we're gonna, I'm just going to record everything that we're doing from my glasses. I'm going to leave them on. So be prepared for well, this. Well, here's what's happening. <laughs> here's what's happening. How many people get to be on the set of Great Day Green Country? Not many. Not so many, very special friend. few. Very soon, you can just tune into TulsaLiveEvents.com. We will show you, from Google Glass perspective, what it's like to be a guest on the show. That's Very a, cool. That was technology. So I'm going to ask you this because, you know, you are you're ahead of the technology all the time, but it's really changed real estate, hasn't it? I tell you, I was saying on the way over here, what am I going to talk about? Well, <laughs> well that's good. I've been, <laughs> I've been in this 25 years, and I remember when the fax machine changed the way we delivered contracts. When I started... We had this phone that had the two big, you know, the old kind of phone, oh, the yeah. two big things. Not cell phone, it had a wire. Yeah. And you had to put it on those two suction cups in order to get connected to the MLS. And this is the technology revolution that's taking place right now is changing real estate. And that's why we call EXP Realty smarter real estate. Mm -hmm. Because there are there's drone technology, there's Google Glass. We can list something instantaneously and and have it out to the marketplace. And as a realtor, we have to know how to deal with that because we're marketing professionals for our sellers. Right. So it's just an exciting time. So where do you start? For someone like me, I've never owned a home before. How do you go about knowing, I mean, there's so many questions that I have, but knowing when it's time to buy a house, when you're in that place and when you're ready, and then figuring out which one is perfect for you before you sign on that dotted line. This is an investment decision. and a quality of life decision and those have to be balanced if you look at it strictly as investment you think well uh, this isn't a good enough deal and then you continue living in this boxy little apartment uh, not enjoying life and then if you get too crazy you're spending too much money on a lifestyle and not actually getting any return that you should get from real estate so you want to look at it as an investment uh, a, a, an investment in your lifestyle making sure that you're gonna live there long enough to be able to recover some of the money that you're putting into it. Like how long? Uh, in, in our market, you usually wanna have three to four years. Okay. Uh, and that, that may mean, think about this, if you, if you buy a house for $100,000 and you sell it for $100,000, but you've paid some fees and expenses and so it, it costs you at closing $5,000 to sell your property. It seems like that's a loss. Yeah. But what about your tax write-offs? Uh, what about the other things that you were able to enjoy that had you lived in a rental property, you would have spent money and then lost? Yeah. So there's a lot that goes into the decision. The best thing is to be educated. And too many consumers enter the market, they start going to an open house, uh, parade of homes, whatever, and they just make decisions without thinking, what are the long-term consequences of this? of this? What does this do to me in five years? What does this do to me in 20 years? And making the right real estate decisions has made many people millionaires as investors, but as a homeowner, you just want to understand what you're doing. What are some of the biggest mistakes that you have seen young homeowners make? They, they buy a home based on what is going to impress their friends. And I wish, I wish young people could come out of college and say, you know, this isn't the fanciest home, but I can buy this two bedroom, one bath home for less than what I could afford, make it very nice, and then sell it make a little money, a little money, use it for the next down payment, and start to see their home as something that they can eventually own rather than pay on the rest of their lives. We, we got into this uh, consumer uh, overconsumption society and we just were throwing houses away. Oh, I'm done with this one. Yeah. Okay, it's okay at different times of your life, but um, don't try to impress your friends. Question real quick before we wrap. Good time to buy or good time to sell? This is one of the best times, period. Interest rates are low. The inventory is starting to decline, uh, but there's still plenty of inventory so that uh, a seller can't demand a certain price. They gotta be very careful. Um, the, it's before spring. There's always a good time of year, but before spring, sellers are just out of winter. They wanna get their houses sold and they wanna, don't wanna wait until summer. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you, Daryl. I want to work My with pleasure. This guy. Well, he you makes can. You want to get a house. You can work in a Thank you so much. Find out at DarylBaskin.com. You can give him a call at 918 258 2600. Listen to Daryl. He's, of course, on the future of real estate every Saturday at 1 p.m. at AM 740 and FM 1023 News Talk KRMG. And, like you said, the website. Tell him about the website. What is your website? Tulsa event, TulsaLiveEvents.com. Tulsa. TulsaLiveEvents.com. We'll have private behind the scenes interviews here 
from the show. Awesome. Tips from the experts. What are you doing right now? So, Live interviews on home Thank maintenance, you. repair, and financial advice. Thanks to Daryl Baskin. Thanks you again. rock. Good to be here. You look like a Cylon, but you rock. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Make your backyard a nature preserve. Can you think about that? Birds flying around everywhere. Such an oasis. And then $1.75 a gallon. We talked about that earlier. We're teasing you. Yeah, $1.75 a gallon to fill up. Don't go anywhere. Okay. You're awesome. Thank you. It's a Thank pleasure you. meeting you. So much. Good to see you again. You make me feel better. My name's Nick with EXP Realty, and we're here with Richard with Roof Hawk. Uh, Richard, a couple things that uh, we wanted to address is if I'm a uh, um, wanting to sell my home, what's something that as, as someone's trying to sell their house they really need to look for with their roof? Uh, first thing I think is curb appeal. So, you know, the color of the roof, um, the type of roof, you know, basically standing out a little bit more than the other homes in the neighborhood is always a good idea. And we've got some products that can help do that. Okay, now is somebody going to buy a home? On the flip side of that, what is kind of a, a something that maybe our viewers wouldn't know to look for when going for looking at a home with a roof? Well, with our um, industry, we've got about 600 roofing companies in the you know Tulsa area, and with that many roofing companies, not all are created equal. So you kind of really want to know who put the roof on, and there's about six percent in the nation that have certification. It means we put on a better roof. So. You know, finding out a little bit about the company can tell you what kind of quality product was installed. So what is the main thing that you guys actually do um, and really what sets you guys apart? What sets us apart is we really work with um, you know, helping people go through all the options. There's a lot of options that people aren't even aware of when it comes to a roof. There's the lowest priced felts that go under the shingles and there's upgrades and we just walk the homeowner through letting them see the products in their hand with different prices and somewhat like Subway they get to build their roof uh, based upon what is important to them. Okay now with that being said then kind of walk me through the process then of contacting you guys. Do you guys come out? Do we need to go to your office? How does that work? Okay excellent question. Well um, the typical roofing company is just going to come out and measure your roof. If it's a larger roof they may be up there 30 minutes to an hour um, we do all that from our office. We measure roofs with a satellite system, so we, we um, you know, try to make our time um, with the customer, you know, is very valuable to them. So we don't want to spend an hour of their time measuring their roof. We want to have that done before. We also have our estimate already put together based upon those measurements. So it's a one appointment meeting versus come out and measure, meet, and then go back to the office and put an estimate together. So. You know, um, that's just part of it. We, we go out prepared to, you know, present a roof and, and to give options. And, um, yeah, I think that's the biggest thing that sets us apart. Okay, so with that being said, uh, what is, as far as you guys, how long have you actually been here in Oklahoma with Roof Hawk? Well, um, I'm actually an ex-home builder and have okay. rental properties, so I got started in 90. In